this tutorial I will talk about the native methods usage how you use some native methods in J how you obtain return value how you use pointers because some methods have a different way to return value and I believe that is interesting to know how to use these methods because some things only can be done with determinate, determinate native functions in GTA so here let's open a new project to be used as base for this tutorial here we are with our base project and let's pick some samples of native methods to use let me see <coughs> for example let's see that you want to use this method here that basically what you do like we did in the previous tutorial is use the script hook to call the method so when user press the key 0 then I will call this method here let's see the parameters this, uh, position so I will pick the player position so the create this variable of, of type vector3 and I obtain player position plus let's pick the some position ahead in front of player then something like this position in front of player so the explosion will not kill the player I, I hope the explosion type it's an integer here we don't have the info about what kind of numbers you can put here so for our test I will put zero the radius it's a float this is important when the parameter it's a float you can't use integer for example you can't put for example 10 here just don't will work the game will think that is zero which has a stupid rule where you can't use an integer value in a float parameter just don't make sense but this is what you can't just use integer where it's float I don't know why but this is how it works so you need to put the dot zero or use the f I always use dot zero or dot anything the algebra it's a boolean so basically will determine if you can hear or not the explosion you put to true to be able to hear the explosion and the invisible it's a boolean value too I will put false because I want to see not invisible and the camera shake it's a float it's how much the camera will shake let's put 0 0.5 and let me put a message here just to see that is happening okay let's let me see if the location it's correct yes see if works reload scripts native cows there see it works so this is a simple example of how to use now let's change for example this parameter here that is 
the explosion type that comes after position. Let's change to one and see what changes in the explosion. Mm, this is the, the one is the Molotov. So think in GTA you learn just trying and failing. I do this a lot. I fail more than I succeed. Is number two seems to be the rocket explosion. I believe that we only have these three kinds of explosions. Watch. <laughs> three, four. Seems that we're limited to. These three options, 0, 1 and 2 are the types of the explosion. Okay. So this is mm, easy to use native call because it don't return value, it don't need any pointer, nothing. Okay? It's very simple. But for example, let's see uh, we want to use a, mo a native call that don't have the definition here on the page. Let me see. For example, the clear other area. It's a red link. When you click, you see that there is no definition for for the, the parameters or the how to use this method. So, what we can do to find out how to use this method? I basically copy the name of the f of the native method and I come here into this folder where I have the compiled SCO CL file files that is they basically watch the game those is the scripts that Rockstar made for GTA so using these files you can see how Rockstar used the methods and basically if the method is used you can use too for example I search here for the clear area area and you will see that we have a lot of usage and here in the folder we can see that if it's using it for GTA or in the, the ballad of Gaitoni or in the Lost and Demon. I always, I always try to find the usage in the GTA 4. Sometimes we have little difference, but commonly if it works in 4, we work in the other versions. Let's see it is script here. I will search for the native call. And here I found this part where I use. Well, basically we have this variable here that contains this component inside. As you can see it's a very weird variable names and but we can imagine that would be a position because we have three parameters using the same variable and then we have this number here that seems to be in radius around this position and we have this zero here that I have no idea of what is. So what we can do is do a simple test to see if this is the position and if this is the radius. So let me try here. Let's put in the K9 to call this method. I will obtain the position. Of player, and I will use the native function call clear area. And the radius, the position, I hope, and the radius will be. Let's put. As you can see here, they use a float number, so 
So let's use a float number here too. And the last parameter you will repeat the zero because I have no idea. And I will put a message here too. Okay, let's try. Uh, hope I managed to will remove yes exactly this it clears the area removing pedestrians and cars for example this simple method here get is widescreen as you can see in the SEO files they use like a method to return a boolean value it's because they use here directly in the if condition so if we would use here we would do like this if the native the function of call of type boolean e get is white screen then I will show a message else I will show the opposite not white screen so this is how you use the return value of a native method you put the off and the type could be boolean could be integer could be anything that the game needs I don't know it all, all depends on the on the the narrative call but commonly is boolean or it's integer or or single or double it depends on the on the method but basically this is the idea put the type of the return value here before the call of the method okay so let's try and see if it works yeah I have a white screen let me change the resolution to something not white screen let's see if it detects see you consider that the resolution is not white screen and now the last thing about the native functions is the functions that need pointers in the parameters let me see if I can find an example here for example cheese one here oh let's try choose one here create a random family share as you can see the last parameter is a variable to start a family pad so what this means well, this means that this parameter must be a pointer to a variable of type pad because when we call this method he will try to create a pedestrian disposition and will push the result in this variable here why they don't return as value <laughs> I have no idea maybe they would use this in a different way and, and like this but this is how you need to do let's put in the 7 let me pick the position And let me call the method that will create the, the family pedestrian in the position. And now comes the variable to start the pointer. We need a pointer, so here I will create a pointer. This is how we create a pointer. Oops. And I will start up here I will start up 
the pointer. And I need to get the type of the pad. So basically I will use this pointer here. So after calling this native function I should have a pedestrian on this variable here. And I make make easy to use this pointer we can declare a temporary page that will receive the pointer dot value so we can check if the page exists or not yeah to work it so basically this is what I wanted to show how to how to create oh how to use the basic use of native functions to use how to find the ne some native functions in the SEO files how to use the pointers when needed inside the native calls and how to use the return value of native calls that's it for now